Chicago. I'm uh, 20 years old. I came to the Stem Cell Institute the first time uh, about four months after a spinal cord injury at uh, C6. I came the first time in September of 2012, and that was about four months after my injury. I came to get stem cells because I had done research online and that's what initially brought me to it along with my dad. And uh, right off the bat when I was in ICU he was telling me about the clinic in Panama which offered adult stem cells. And uh, after doing reading on the differences between embryonic stem cells, adult stem cells, and uh, what is offered right now in the world, I found a couple places and judging by um, the successes that I read about online and people's blogs and on the videos I saw here, I decided this was the safest bet. Um, and I also factored in the low risk rate, because embryonic stem cells I had read sort of carry some risks and this seemed like a best option at the time. Yeah, um, right after the injury I was diagnosed as a C6 complete and I had no movement in my fingers, it was curled up like a fist. Um, and I had no feeling, no sensation below, right about here, um, or movement. And then when I was discharged from inpatient, I was re-diagnosed as incomplete, uh, based solely on the fact that I was starting to get sensation back in uh, my right foot, and my left, a little bit of my left foot. And uh, after some therapy, um, I started to get finger extensors back, and uh, some tingling in, in my legs and um, a little bit of sensation in the bladder. And then after coming here the first time, uh, the trajectory of my recovery sort of drastically took an upward turn. And um, I got, you know, I started getting grip back a little bit. Um, I got a lot stronger, blood pressure issues sort of went out the window. Um, I got my lower back to start firing. So when I lean forward in my chair, I don't just fall and kind of pull myself back. Um, and as of most recently, my hip flexors have started firing in certain positions so I can actually assist the therapist with crawling. And um, a whole bunch of things. Uh, bowel and bladder sensation has gotten better. Um, I have hot and cold sensation in my hands now. I can't pick up a cup of coffee anymore without wrapping a napkin around it. Um, and blood pressure. Bowel and bladder sensations. Incontinence is a thing of the past. I used to have an issue with that. Judging by the, um, my recovery before and after the clinic, I think it's a great option for some of the spinal cord injury. Um, and based on the conversations I've had with people here, I think it's a, it's a low risk option, which has a lot of potential for some of the spinal cord injury. And I've told everyone that back home. I've, uh, I've actually convinced a few friends to seriously consider this place uh, because they saw me before and they saw me after. And it's a little more difficult to guess that I'm a C6 now because, I mean, they see my hands, they see my upper body strength, um, you know, hip flexors, low back, things like that, and it, it's clear that it, it made a difference. You guys, I can tell you really care. Um, I like all of you on a personal level and a professional level. Um, you assure me that the quality is the quality control is taken care of. You know, you get a sheet at the end that tells you exactly how many cells you got. Um, and I've I've inquired about your process in the lab, and I've actually talked to Neil Reardon, and he's told me the lab is it's pretty state of the art. And you guys check and check the cells, um, and all that is very um, comforting to know that you guys you take it practice seriously, and you're always you know very receptive to hearing the uh, about my recovery. It's made it better. Um, it's made it easier to go through day by day. Um, you wouldn't believe what a, what a little change in just vitality makes in someone's life. I mean, when I get out of bed in the morning, I don't have to be rocked back right away because my blood pressure plummets. You know, that's a thing in the past. Um, I'm not, I don't have to wear diapers anymore because I actually know when I have to pee. Little things like that make a huge difference. I mean, a huge difference. So it's worth every penny.